we're not driving anything fancy for you right now, but if you stay tuned, we have something very special in store. And it's not very often that we get to drive in snow, so ready for this? Yeah, let's have a little fun. Oh, yeah. I have to take oh, it off. Oh, turn, no turn. The wheel oh, leg. Go. <laughs> I think we found our parking <laughs> space. I've had a love affair with cars my whole life. I build them in my shop and I race them both on and off road. I've spent years on the auto show circuit talking about cars, but now it's time to get behind the wheel and find the next adventure. Together, we're setting out to tackle all things that every car enthusiast should do. This is The List. Hi everybody, welcome to The List. I'm Patrick McIntyre. And I'm Jesse Combs. And today we are in beautiful Casota, Minnesota to fulfill my heavy metal fantasy. Ever since I was a little kid, I always played with tanks, and now I get a chance to actually drive one. That's right, we are going to be driving tanks, burning diesel, and crashing stuff today. Now some of us may have some fancy off-road vehicles, but how many of us have one of these bad boys, the FV433 Avid, with its 105 millimeter Persuader on top? <laughs> now, who has one of these just laying around in their backyard? Well, that's why we're here. We're going to be talking to Tony Borgelum about him and his big boy toys. Oh. oh. Hi. Hey, nice. hey, Tony. What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing today? Hey, come on down. So tell us a little bit about what are we looking at here today? Well, Patrick, today we have a uh, FV433 Abbott. Self-propelled gun. It has a uh, 105 millimeter howitzer mount at the top. It's about 240 horsepower. As you can tell by the tracks, it's gonna have some off-road capability. Tony has all kinds of toys. Not just a warehouse full of armored vehicles, but a full-on shooting range. And my favorite, a bad boy machine gun. Will you give us a walk around and kind of show us the ropes of what's happening on this machine? Sure. All right, so where does the driver even sit on this thing? Driver's front and center. He stays in the hull of the tank. He looks forward where the vehicle's headed. Commander, up in the top, right-hand side of the turret. His cupola rotates so he can see the battlefield around him. Gunner is ahead and below him in the turret, and he does the fine-tune adjustments of the gun system. What power is this thing? This vehicle's powered with a 200 horsepower Cummins diesel engine, four stroke. Originally, they were equipped with a six cylinder, 12 piston, supercharged, two stroke diesel. The original engines are kind of complicated, hard to maintain. Most tanks are built with a service life of about 100 hours. They don't see a lot of usage, so for the activities that we do, we need something that's gonna last a little longer and easier to find parts for. The Abbott is equipped with nuclear biological chemical filtration systems. As you can see on the right-hand side of the turret, they will sustain life inside for up to 14 days. Inside that? Inside there, that's right. That's the commander's position, the right-hand side. His seat goes up to let him see out, and it drops in for to button up in a combat situation. Gunner's position is right ahead of him. You can see all the fire control systems for the gunner. On the left-hand side is the loader seat and ammunition storage all around. Well, why don't you guys grab these helmets and climb in and I'll take you for a ride. <laughs> Tony took us for a ride and it's a neat experience to be able to just sit there and say, I'm in a tank. And if there was only ammunition in that giant gun, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Before I got into the tank, I thought it was gonna be really difficult to figure out. I mean, you have to go through basic training and to be in the army, I figured you'd have to go through special training to be in a tank, but apparently not. You have two levers right in between your legs and you just release them, you let them go forward, you give it gas, and then when you wanna turn, you pull back on one to turn right, you pull back on the other to turn left. It's an automatic transmission, so it's really simple actually. It's not hard at all. I'm gonna let Patrick take this one out on his own. Get some alone time with it because Tony's got something much bigger in store for me. What? Jesse? Are you kidding me? This is the Chieftain Main Battle Tank. It's got a 19 liter 12 piston engine. Uh, you wanna have a race? All right, fine, I'll do a little race. First one to the car. Loser buys dinner. Done. Yes, 
missing? What? Are you kidding me? I said to the car, not on the car. It was a piece of crap anyway. Great, now we have to take one of these home. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> you know what my insurance is gonna be like after this? Well, I can officially check driving a tank off of my list. And if you wanna check driving a tank off of your list, go to drivetank.com. Thanks for watching.